Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am going to be putting together, well, it's already put together, but I'm going to be organizing and setting up this plant shelf here, which is honestly just a hot mess and I've just kind of thrown things on since I moved. So I actually have a new grow light. That's what's in that box. I'm so excited. It's another Mars Hydro light. You guys know I am obsessed with this Mars Hydro grow light. Um, it's my favorite light I've tried by far. My plants that are just thriving are the ones that are under that light. So really excited to get um, another one set up. So yeah, maybe I'll unbox that quickly and then we can get started. Okay, so this is actually a different model than, <laughs> just casually holding a knife, than um, my other Mars Hydro Grow Light. This is the TS600, so it's a little bit smaller, as I can see. Um, I'm hoping I can still hang it in the same way or a similar way, like from the shelf, but we'll see what we're working with here. I'm just the cardboard queen lately with moving and everything. My goodness. Okay. Comes with a little user manual right on top. Shows you how to suspend it. They give you this like whole suspension system for hanging it, but I didn't use that last time. Well, I used part of it. I just used little hooks. Okay. Um, let me get this out of the box. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. It is all aluminum. I think this is aluminum. I'm not sure actually. It says Mars Hydro on it. And they also sent these cute little stickers. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Everyone just like growing their weed and me just growing my house plants. This is the hanging hardware that it comes with. It's pretty heavy duty. I'm just gonna take off, I think what I'll do is just take off these little clips and use those to attach it to my shelf. I will show you guys how I attach it to the shelf when I figure it out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take everything off of the shelf. adjust that shelf to be just a little bit lower I'm gonna try to make it pretty much even to my other shelf so I need to make that a little bit lower and I'm gonna try to bring that one up to the very top I don't know why there's like a little bit <laughs> a little bit of room at the top so yeah I'm just gonna adjust those quick They can 
not make it any harder to adjust those. Okay, so now I have the shelves adjusted to how I would like them. Hopefully this is how I would like them, actually. Um, so now I basically have to decide whether I want to put this in the middle um, or just on one side because I don't know how much area this is going to cover. Um, maybe I'll plug it in and see. See how much light we get. Because I could put like plants that really like the light in the scent, like directly under it, and then plants that don't need that much direct light um, just off to the side. Okay, I'm not like this twist high. Everything difficult for me right now. Oh, if I get only bring this back around, I have been lost for so long. But you make me feel okay. It actually gives plenty of light just in the middle, so I am going to try to fasten it just to the middle of the shelf. Okay, so it came with these little hooks that I'm just going to use to suspend it. actually super easy now it is attached to the, whoop i'm holding my tripod like really weird um now it is all attached to the top of the shelf hopefully that's okay that's not the way that mars hydro suggests to hang things but that's the way i am doing it so yeah hang it however you like at your own risk that's all i'm gonna say about that okay let's turn it on Oh my gosh it's so bright it's so crazy how bright their grow lights are like this room is pretty much completely lit up now wow that's amazing it it honestly lights up that whole shelf like it's perfect okay so now i need to decide what plants i'm going to put on there Let me show you. Let me take you off the tripod and show you. This is what we have going on so far. I'm coming to the realization that I can get a lot more plants now with this new shelf and grow light setup because it's pretty sparse. Um, I'm probably still gonna move things around, but I feel like this is like mostly gonna be a propagation area. Um, I have my propagation box here. I just did this one a couple of days ago. It has some Cebu Blue, Hoya Bella, um, Philodendron Silver Stripe. And then these are all cuttings I just took the other day as well. My variegated string of hearts, um, skin dapsis, variegated maranta, my tridoscantia. Um, I have some Hoya here, Philodendron Pink Princess cuttings. I hope it's not going to be too much light for it. Um, my philodendron silver stripe rickrack, which I need to cut off. I totally neglected watering this. 
um, do not mind the floor. I feel like I'm gonna have to say that in every video because people are gonna be like, what's on your floor? But yes, there's diatomaceous earth all over my floor, I'm aware. Um, I do wanna put this guy up on the shelf, but I need to wash it because I feel like it might have been exposed to spider mites. My Pelea Pearls and Jade Pothos. I don't even really like this. I think I'm probably gonna sell this or give it away. I don't know. It can chill there for now. My Dancing Dolphin Vine, which I do not know how to take care of that plant, you guys, to be completely honest. If anyone has any tips, let me know, but yeah, it's just chilling there. Um, Hoya Puba Calyx, Tridescantian and Nook again. Um, ZZ Raven, Hoya Shepardii. And that is pretty much all I've got going on here so far. I am getting some plant mail soon and I know that some of those things are going to need to be under grow light for the winter. So I plan to put those on that shelf. Um, that shelf? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so crazy that I have two now. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it just really gives me... Ooh. It just really gives me more options having such high quality grow lights for over the winter so yeah that's very exciting for me and now that that's set up i feel like i can kind of carry on and organize and set up the rest of the plant room now so thank you so much again to mars hydro for sending me that grow lights they did send the light to me for free but this is in no way sponsored or anything like that um, you guys already know that I am obsessed with Mars Hydro. They are my favorite grow lights and I can't say enough good things about them. So I'm going to have the grow light that I unboxed today linked down below in the description box if anyone is interested. It is like getting to be that time of year when we need to invest in grow lights. So yeah, fun times. Um, anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.